In this lesson, you will learn how to find the minimum or maximum value of a quadratic function given in standard form and vertex form. The first step is to determine whether the parabola opens upward or downward. For a quadratic function in standard form, if a is greater than zero, the parabola opens upward. If a is less than zero, the parabola opens downward. In our function, a is one, which is greater than zero, so the parabola opens upward. When the parabola opens upward, the quadratic function has a minimum point, which is the vertex of the parabola. So, our next step is to find the vertex. First, find its x-coordinate using the formula x equals negative b over 2a. In our function, a is 1, b is negative 10. Substitute these values into the formula. Simplifying this, we find that x equals 5, right? So, the x-coordinate of the vertex is 5. Now to find its y-coordinate, substitute its x-coordinate back into the original function. Simplifying this, we find that y equals negative 4. So, the y-coordinate of the vertex is negative 4. The minimum value of a quadratic function is the y-coordinate of the vertex, which is negative 4 in this case. This occurs when x equals 5. Now, it's your turn. Please pause the video and give it a try. First, determine whether the parabola opens upward or downward. A is negative 5, which is less than 0, so the parabola opens downward. When the parabola opens downward, the quadratic function has a maximum point, which is again the vertex of the parabola. So next, find the vertex. Find its x-coordinate using x equals negative b over 2a. A is negative 5. Notice that the x term is missing, which means the coefficient b is 0. Substituting these values into the formula, we find that x equals 0, right? So, the x-coordinate of the vertex is 0. Now, find its y-coordinate by substituting 0 for x into the original function. Simplifying this, we find that y equals 11, right? So, the y-coordinate of the vertex is 11. The maximum value of a quadratic function is the y-coordinate of the vertex, which is 11 in this case. This occurs when x equals 0. Let's see now when a quadratic function is given in vertex form. Also in this case, first, determine whether the parabola opens upward or downward based on the sign of a. If a is greater than 0, the parabola opens upward. If a is less than 0, the parabola opens downward. In our example, a is 3, which is greater than 0, so the parabola opens upward. Therefore, the quadratic function has a minimum point, which is the vertex. For a quadratic function in vertex form, the vertex is the point h, k. So you just need to identify the values of h and k from the given function, but be careful about the signs. Notice that we have a negative h inside the parentheses, but the h in the vertex is positive. So, for h, we take the opposite of the number inside the parentheses. For k, both in the function and in the vertex, the signs are the same, so we take it as it is. In our function, the number inside the parentheses is negative 2, and h is the opposite of it, so it is positive 2. k is the constant term as it is, so it is equal to 7. So, the vertex is the point 2, 7. The minimum value of the quadratic function is the y-coordinate of the vertex, which is 7. This occurs when x equals 2. Now, try this one. a is negative 1, which is less than 0, so the parabola opens downward. Therefore, the quadratic function has a maximum point, which is the vertex. To find the vertex, identify the values of h and k. H is the opposite of the number inside the parentheses, so it becomes negative 4, right? K is the constant term, so it is negative 9, right? So, the vertex is the point negative 4, negative 9. The maximum value of the quadratic function is the y-coordinate of the vertex, which is negative 9. This occurs when x equals negative 4. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.